Hi, this is We Don't Know How React State Hooks Work. Uh, my name is Adam Klein, and I'm broadcasting from Tel Aviv, Israel. So let's take this code, which uses a state that's initialized to zero, uh, which is a counter. And we have a button that has an onClick event handler. And the onClick event handler calls setCounter, which is the setState function, and passes in an update function, which increments the value by one. Let's see what happens when we call setCounter. Now, you probably know that React manages the state of the hooks for us outside of the component. And what I used to think that happens is that uh, we call setCounter, React takes the current uh, state of the hook, which is in our case zero, uh, calls our update function, which returns one, and updates the state of the hook to the new value, which is one, and then re-renders our component. And the render function calls use state, which gets the new value, which is one, and uh, the component re-renders. This is pretty straightforward, except that it's wrong. So let's see what React uh, really does. And this is a simplified version. So in fact, every hook has its own update queue, uh, where React keeps all of the pending actions to this hook. So when we call set counter, React just adds the update to the queue. It adds an action. What is the action? Whatever we passed inside a set state, which could be either a function or a value, or in case of reducers, it's the action that we dispatched. And then it just schedules a re-render, which means it flips some flag that says uh, this component needs to be re-rendered. And there might be more updates to this hook or other hooks or hooks in uh, other components. And eventually React decides to re-render. And then it re-renders all of the components according to their order inside the tree. So when does this React decide to re-render? We'll talk in the last part of this uh, talk. So eventually we re-render, uh, we call use state during render, and only then during render, React will perform the updates inside the queue of this hook. So it takes the first action, gives it uh, the previous value, gets back the new value, which is one. And if there are more actions, continues to the next action and performs them one by one, and then goes to the next statement in our render function. So this is called a lazy update, which means React only does the work when the result of the work is needed. <laughs> and everything I say about use state holds for use reducer because in fact, under the hood, use state uses use reducer. So it's the same mechanism behind the scenes. Now you might be wondering what about render bailout? So if React only calculates the new state uh, during render, how can it bail out of render if the new state is different than the old state? So in, in this case, we have a state that starts from zero. And if we update it to zero, you would expect React not to re-render our component. So it turns out there's actually another step that sometimes React decides to take uh, for this optimization, uh, which is to eagerly calculate the new state immediately when we call the setState function. And then if the new state is the same as the old state, it doesn't schedule a re-render. And if they are different, then it continues normally, but it caches the result of the calculation inside the update queue uh, so we can use it later when we render the component. So the cycle continues, we get to the new use state uh, function, React performs the updates inside the queue, and if the action already has a cached result, it uses it and updates the state of the hook. So we have these two modes, uh, lazy or eager, with lazy React only performs the actions when they are needed, and with eager they are performed immediately, and lazy is used to save redundant cal calculations and postpone them. And eager is used to uh, bail out or, and save redundant uh, re-renders. And the final part is when does, decide, uh, when does React decide to re-render? 
So when you have event handlers, for example, on click, uh, React runs them inside something they call a batch. And inside the batch, all of the updates are queued. So in this case, we have two calls to set counter, both of them are queued. And when the function com it completes, the batch is over and React re-renders. So in this case, we have two updates in the queue and one re-render. And what about async event handlers? Uh, with this example, uh, the function completes before the async operation is done. So in this case, when we get to set counter, we're already outside of the batch, which means that it will trigger a re-render immediately after calling set counter. So in this case, we will have two calls to set counter and two re-renders of the component. And now there are ways to manually invoke the batch, but we won't talk about them uh, during this talk. So in fact, we are done. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. Uh, remember that you can always open the source code of React Hooks. If you find it, it hard, uh, you can contact me and I'll help you. And if you have any other questions, I'll be happy to answer them in the Discord channel. And I hope you have a good conference and uh, stay safe and hope to see you all face to face soon. Bye bye.